I'm I'm really curious. Uh, how do you see then, uh, uh, in terms of uh, the VDC, what kind of future views uh, there is? Like what uh, we should be looking up. Yeah, as far as the future, um, <clears throat> I think the future of VDC. You know, I I think it really lies in the work. So we need to have. I, <clears throat> I guess from my point of view, in the construction industry, we need to work on converting, um, well, let me back up, because I, I think a lot of the software development and virtual tools is going to displace some of the existing construction infrastructure in, in, in terms of, you know, the more work that you do in the virtual space, the less work there is to do in the physical space. So, so what I think we're going to see is is kind of a um, a disruption of labor, kind of what kind of similar to what they saw in the manufacturing. Space. Yeah. So I think that there's going to be there's going to be um, people that that used to work in the field or people with field experience that are going to be somewhat displaced by the new technologies. But what's interesting is that the people that work in the field are ultimately the best people to work in BDC. If they learn how to use BIM tools, because because who, who you know who would be better than at turning a BIM model into a construction model than the people that know how to actually build? Yeah, the building. yeah, definitely. So, so I see the future of BDNC more from a labor perspective. There need I think there needs to be more emphasis on taking people from the field and putting them on a career track to becoming BDNC engineers. So. Typically in construction firms, at least in the United States, someone working in the field, you know, as a laborer or, uh, you know, let, let's take a carpenter, for example. So a carpenter typically starts their career as an apprentice, then they become a journeyman. They might go on to be a foreman, managing, you know, their team. From foreman, they would go to superintendent, right? And then they might go to senior superintendent or uh, an operations manager at a corporate level or a district level. So, so that's kind of the career, career trajectory currently of a, of a purchase carpenter. You know, they might aspire to become a superintendent. Well, I think I think the future of the industry really comes into let's take let's take that career path and change it slightly so that you could progress from foreman to VDC engineer or VDC manager. Um, <clears throat> because it's kind of like construction scheduling, right? So in a lot of construction firms, they used to have a specific person that would just work on the construction schedule because it was seen as a computer technical task. But then a lot of construction firms saw, well, you know, it's important to know how to use the tool on the computer, but it's even more important to know how to actually schedule a building. You know, and so what what we see in the United States is that a lot of a lot of construction management firms will have senior superintendents working on developing schedules and then having superintendents working on actually managing the schedule on the construction site. So that's kind of how I see the future of BDNC is that construction firms will start taking um, superintendents, people that used to work in the field, and turning them into BDNC engineers or BDNC managers. Yeah, that's so. definitely definitely a good point. And I mean, it's already been seen that, uh, like, if you think uh, site uh, foreman or uh, that kind of role, the people usually that what you what people expected from that role before was that you had been in the labor and you have been doing this job and had uh, many many years of uh, experience on the projects, but mm -hmm. now there's a uh, growing demand of understanding the VDC tools and utilizing different equipments. And it's not just the formants that they teach in the university, but now there's all these different uh, new things that you should also have to be hired for sure. And it's, yeah. it's really interesting. Like while at the moment it's still uh, this kind of like uh, self-learning or learning from colleagues to gain this uh, skill set. I think in the future it will just uh, focus on that. Okay, formants uh, skills that will be 
having a little bit about IT, a little bit about the BIM, a little bit about the formats and then the materials and so on. So it's right. it's really interesting to see how the all these roles are getting more, how to say, more collaborate, uh, collaborative in the sense of like the language and understanding of different things is required now from everyone. Now it's not just, okay, surveyor is doing his job and he's, uh, if he's talking about surveying, I don't need to even understand. But now I really need to understand what he's talking and uh, what, what things I can do to communicate back or to make decisions or better decisions uh, regarding topics or issues. And it's really, really interesting to see where it leads. It's, uh, yeah. it's uh, kind of like a uh, uh, crisis in uh, that sense that uh, the construction companies are only now when the BIM and the VDC has been quite many tens of years uh, in the market. Now they start to realize that, holy shit, we need to have this and this and this. And we have been so traditional so far and now we just have to change otherwise we cannot compete well and then and, and you know what you know what's going to happen in, 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 and it's similar to the manufacturing industry um you know during the industrial age is that the, the companies that are able to successfully implement the new tools and systems are the, the ones that are going to survive and the ones the construction companies that can't implement the new tools and systems just aren't going to make it they're not going to be competitive and so um yeah, I mean, like like what you said, it's kind of a crisis because construction firms that haven't implemented it yet are behind the ball, and there's there's all these construction companies that have been doing it for a long time, and now they're ahead, and so they have, they have to play catch up in a, in a sense. Yeah, it's a quite a high mountain to climb. <laughs>